Hey guys, I'm back with another one. And today we're going to discuss and go through stock prices in Excel and how you can pull live stock information and stock historical stock data instantaneously within an Excel spreadsheet. Before we do so, I want to show you how much of an effort it is to actually get stock prices. Although you'd think by entering stock prices into Google, you'd come up with some easy results. Here, for instance, the London Stock Exchange, also known as the LSE, lists all UK traded stocks. But that's not what I want because I'm more mostly interested in tech stocks in the US. Yahoo Finance is another option. You can go in there. You can see stock prices for some of your favorite stocks. You can even build a favorite, favorite list um, of what stocks you like. These are... Um, symbols for crypto these are currencies and here you've got your stocks but again you have to go through a number of links before you get to that kind of information one thing i do use is the livestock information within google itself so if i wanted apple share price i type in apple share price into google and google has this really nice functional feature which shows you trended historical data so here you can see the share price for Apple over five days, over a month, it's trending down. Over six months, it's actually trending up. You can see it was up in August. It's back down now to about $144. Year to date, one year, five year, so on and so forth. But what if you wanted this data in a nice Excel chart and you wanted not just one share price, but you wanted the share prices of multiple stocks? That's if you're interested in the stock market or Forex, for instance. This is where the new data function and the new stock price uh, function in Excel comes to life. So what I want you to do is load up a new spreadsheet. And here, you're going to click in the data. Now, what you see in here is only available, as far as I'm aware, in versions of Excel 2016 and newer. If you've got Excel or Office 365, you'll have this feature available to you. So what you want to do, let's start this off by entering a few a few company names. So these are companies I like to follow. Let's look at the big ones. So Microsoft, Facebook, which is now known as Meta, uh, Apple. Uh, um, let's have a look. Um, let's even look at Tesla, actually. Let's look at Amazon as well. These are companies I regularly follow. And not just in terms of you know their stock performance, but also generally in terms of their products, and you'll see them reference a lot in our, on this channel. So I've got these names of these different companies. Now let's convert them. So this is how you do it: you go into data, you go to stocks, and what Excel is able to do is identify the ticker symbols for all of these. These are the tickers. So all tickers are essentially a four four letter identification for that stock or that share so for microsoft is msft for meta or previously known as facebook is meta or, or meta apple is double apl tesla is tsla and amazon is amzn and that's what we needed but excel is smart enough to pick these up now what you've done here is you've essentially connected to an inbuilt function within excel it's powered by bing the data actually comes from a platform uh, called refinitiv um, and this is where it becomes really interesting. So once you've got these converted into tickers, you're then given a pop-up here, which offers you the chance to insert some data. So if you click on this, it then offers you a number of options. So here you've got things like volume, you've got the ticker symbol, which we have, you've got today's price um, as of right now, as of this right moment, which is uh, 1014 um, in the UK. Uh, you can also look at the open price. So as soon as the market opened, what was the trading price at that time? Look at the market capitalization. So how much that company's worth? Um, look at the other information like headquarters. Uh, you can look at the number of employees the company has. Um, but we're interested in these kind of figures here, like the 52-week high and the 52-week low. So let's look at a couple of things. I'll bring these in. So I want to look at today's pr the price right now as of this moment. So here you can see the price for Microsoft uh, right now is $252. And we know that because if you go into, let's, let's look at Apple, sorry. So Apple price right now is 
1.49. If we go into our share, our Google here, you can see the price is exactly that, 144.49. And if you're wondering, you know, does this price change? Yes, it does. What you need to do is click refresh, this refresh icon right here, tap that. And if the share price changes, you'll see the price change in your spreadsheet as well. So I'm just looking for a change here. It looks like we're not seeing any more changes. And I believe it's because the stock market for the US has now ceased to trade. So the stock market in the US is only open certain hours. So we've now got our open price. So, well, price, let's just put in price here. We've got the stock, the share, the company slash ticker here. I'm going to add a few more values as well. I'm going to add the, so the price as it is today, I want to check it against a 52 week high. So I'm just going to write 52 high. And I want to check uh, also 52 week low. So I'm just going to put a header here, 52 low. And then all you need to do is just drag these down. So you can just drag these down and that will give you your price. So here you can see, if we take a look at Apple, you can see as of today, it's $144. But in the last 52 weeks, in the last year alone, it's been as high as 182. And the lowest it's been is 129. Typically what I would do is look at the difference between these two. So I'll do the high minus the low. I can see there's a $53, $54 difference right there. So if I was to add, um, if I was to half that amount, so let's just do half of that amount divided by two, I'd get $27. So what I want to do is, you know, ideally I want to be investing in this share, um, which is half of the total difference. So I would do $129, $129 plus the 26.95 would give me $15599. So today's price is still below that 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 amount and that to me is a good buy so this is how i would analyze it so this kind of analysis you can do once you've pulled in the data and the live data but putting the financial financial techniques to the side i'll show you how you can expand on this a bit more what we may want to do is actually chart this up so it may be easier to read this with a few visuals so if we go into insert and then I'm going to put in a histogram or a bar chart here. So here you can see uh, a really nice visual. And we want to kind of label our series one, two, and three. You can do that. Uh, let's do that right here. So series one, edit. Uh, series one is our blue. Um, and that looks like it's our price. So we select price. Okay, that. Series two is our 52 week high, which is orange. And uh, series three is the gray, which is the lowest values we can see. So that's a low. So now we've color coded the legend. Let's expand this a bit. So here you can see if we look at Tesla, for instance, today's share price is just floating above, is floating around $167. It has been as high as $400. Um, and historic low is $166 in the last 52 weeks. So this still looks like a good opportunity albeit you can't say you could say that tesla is a very volatile stock hence why the all-time high you could argue has been overinflated here so there are many different ways you can analyze this but again just to show you how you can quickly load in the data within excel now i'm going to give you one more uh, one more view of this um you can actually um there's another function within excel that allows you to pull historic share prices so what if we wanted to look at, say, Tesla share price, but we don't just want to see today's price. We don't just want to see the 52-week high or low. We actually want to see the daily, weekly price for, for Tesla over the last, I don't know, 52 weeks, if you like, or over the, since January the 1st. So how could you do that? So there's a new formula now that exists within Excel called stock history. So firstly, what we want to do is put down a few markers. So... We want to put down Tesla, put down uh, the start date. So this is the date we're going to be tracking the share price from. So I'm going to look, I want to see data from the 1st of January. And just for argument's sake, 
end date. I just want to see the value of the share right up until the end of the year. And if I'm correct, it's 30 days this month, 30, 30, 31 days this month. So we want to put in 31st, 12, 2022. And then we want to put an interval. I'll show you what that means in a second. So this is how you do it. Equals stock history. There's your formula. And here it gives you a format to structure this uh, formula. So the first one is stock. We just select Tesla, comma, start date, which is our start date here, comma, end date, our end date here, although it's in the future, and I'll show you why. And then the last one is interval. So this is where you can choose to see the data daily, weekly, or monthly. So we're going to select daily for now, and I'll show you what that means. So we're going to select here, although it's, there's nothing in here. Essentially, we want to enter zero in this value. So I'm just going to close this formula. It's going to give me, by default, I believe it's gone daily. Let's have a look. Yes, it has. I'm just going to put zero in here. The reason why I started the third is because that's the day the stock market opened. Um, the first, uh, the third of January. Um, anyway, let's follow along the the date that we have here. You can see all the way from third of January. If we go all the way to the bottom. It won't give us data till the end of December because we're not there yet. It'll only give us data to the ninth. So. Um, that's really cool. It's now given us some really interesting share price data on a daily basis. And that's the kind of, you know, data I'd want to see uh, for Tesla. Um, I can now trend this information if I wanted to. I can change a for, um, the interval if I wanted to. Um, let's chart this up. So let's put this into a visual. Uh, insert this, put it into a nice trend line. Here you can see the movement of the Tesla share price. Well, if I wanted to change the interval on this, well, we can do that quite easily. So we just put in a one here, and that will now change it to a weekly share price. So you can see these these uh, data points are moving every seven days, or we can look at it on a monthly basis as well. And this one I like a lot. So this is giving you the share price as of the first of every month. So you can see a more summarized uh, view, aggregated, on a, to a monthly uh, monthly trend so here you can see our share price is on a gradual decline since the first of january since january um and as of december it's at a all-time low as of this year uh, i can smoothen this out a bit more so we go to let's expand this a little bit here go to former options i'm gonna do a smooth and line perfect i want to add some data labels so just click here Let's add some data labels. That's probably a bit too busy. So we can just add some trend line here. And you can add some axis tiles, but we'll leave it at that. So here you can see we've now got a share price uh, for Tesla year to date. Okay. And that's how you do it, guys. Um, I've shown you two really quick ways to get share price data um, all within Excel without having to go to a single website, without having to download a single CSV, without having to log into any application or, you know, go through, uh, you know, any other sources of information. You can get it direct right here within Excel. I hope it's been useful. Please follow along. Uh, in a future video, we'll cover more financial stats and more financial related information, stocks, share prices, we look at uh, currencies, all sorts, um, and I'll show you more Excel, Excel tips and tricks as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.